Hello, good morning, friends. Welcome back. So we are still dealing with what is or how to overcome the lack of public facilities. The last class we saw how people are suffering due to lack of water supply in some places. People, those who are rich and influential, they have plenty of water available. While the poor people, they are struggling for water. So what is the purpose of a government? We said, right to life includes water also. Availability of water also. Therefore, it is the duty of the government to make sure that the water is available. Let us see what is the role of government in supplying water. Government's role, let us see. So, you can take page number 110. 110. Given that public facilities are so important, someone must carry the responsibility of providing these to the people. This someone is the government. One of the most important functions of the government is to ensure that these public facilities are made available to everyone. Let us try to understand why the government and only the government must bear this responsibility. So we say the public facilities are so important, availability of water, electricity, transportation, all these are responsibilities of the government and therefore someone has to take the responsibility of providing it. So private people cannot because it is right to life and it is the duty of the government to ensure right to life. Therefore, it is the duty of the government to make sure that these public facilities are provided. And let us see how government takes up this responsibility, how the government performs this responsibility and so on. So we have seen that private companies operate for profit in market. So you know, in several areas, private companies are also entering. And their only motive is to make profit. The private company's prime motive is to make profit. And you read about this in chapter on the story of a shirt in your class 7 book. I hope you remember last year you studied about a story of a shirt. And in most of the public facilities, there is no profit to be had. For example, what profit can accrue to a company for keeping the drains clean or running an anti-malaria campaign? A private company will probably not be interested in undertaking such work. So, if you ask for a private company to do some work, they will first calculate how much profit I am going to take from this, how much profit will be available. So if you ask the private company to provide malaria combat, there is no profit available, therefore they will not be willing. Or we ask them keep all the nala or drain clean, they will not get much profit, therefore they will not be willing to do. Therefore it is the duty responsibility that government him itself should take up the action of doing or providing these facilities to the people. But for other public facilities such as schools and hospitals, private companies may well be interested. So to run the schools or to run the hospitals, private companies may be interested because they can get profit. By providing better service, people may be attracted and they may be able to get profit. And we have many of these, particularly in large cities. Similarly, if you are living in a city, you will have seen private companies supplying water through tankers or supplying drinking water in sealed bottles and so on. So in the town we can see people supplying water and it's not by government but by private people. So just ring up to their number, they will come with uh, water tanker and deposit the water, pour the water into your tank or in your uh, syntax. Or they will supply in the bottle, we can use that good mineral water so uh, private people are very much interested in offering services because they know that they will get profit from this that's why they are interested 
and in such cases private companies provide public facilities but at a price that only some people can afford hence this facility is not available to all at affordable rate so private companies will be providing these jobs or these facilities because they will be charging a high rate so that they can get profit therefore all the people cannot afford to receive the service from these private companies because the poor people cannot afford to give so much money they don't have so much money so only rich people will be able to receive service from this poor people from this rich people private companies and if we go by the rule that people will get as much as they can pay for then many people who cannot afford to pay for such facilities will be deprived of opportunity to live a decent life so if you say oh, let those have money come and buy water others no need to drink if you say then we are depriving them of this life it is their right to life and therefore right to water also and government cannot say only those have money go and buy from private company then government is not protecting the constitution not protecting the fundamental rights of the people and therefore government will be considered guilty of failing in their duty so that should not happen that's why these responsibilities are taken up by government so that even the poor people will be able to get uh, facilities available for them and will be able to uh, get it an affordable rate and clearly this is not a desirable opinion public facilities relate to people's basic needs and any modern society requires that these facilities are provided so that people's basic needs are met so we cannot say or government cannot say those so are money go and drink water others no need to drink if you say that way it is not a, a good decision that government will not be a good government therefore we need to provide the security to the people the facility to the people the things should be provided to the people and so on that is the duty of the government and it is right of the people to demand it to get it and the right to life that the constitution guarantees is for all persons living in this country the responsibility to provide public facilities therefore must be that of the government therefore government cannot depend on the private companies to provide water and other facilities government should take the responsibility to provide water for the people electricity for the people transportation for the people and so on private company has no responsibility they may provide or may not provide but they will charge high rate but the government has got the duty to provide to the people at an affordable rate and that they have to fulfill it it is their responsibility so now we said it is the duty and responsibility of the government to provide all these things but it requires a lot of money because government does not get much profit by it so how do they get the money to do all this work to supply water to supply electricity and so on so every year you must have heard the government budget being presented in the parliament this is an account of the expenses the government has made on its programs in the past year and how much it plans to spend in the coming year so every year we you know government presents the budget in the parliament budget means how much is the income and how much is the expense so it is say last year how much money i got collected from the people that is by means of taxes then how much i spent for what are the areas what for what program what purpose i spent then this year how much i am expecting how much tax i will be getting how much income i will be getting or how much money i am trying to spend for different different purposes so government um, explains in the parliament that is called budget session so it is a must and every year it is taking place by the government then in the budget the government also announces the various ways in which it plans to meet these expenses so the main source of revenue for the government is the taxes collected from the people and the government is empowered to collect these taxes and use them for such programs so the main source of income for the government is tax so it is the people who pay the tax 
some pay income tax, some pay other taxes, GST and so on. So everything that we buy from the market, we are paying tax to the government. So the service that the government is providing for us, it is with our own money we can say. We are paying tax to the government and with that government is providing the facility for us. Therefore, it is not a loss for the government. Government collects the money from the people, then provide facility for the people. So everybody is provided and everybody is taking part in that from that facility because they are all paying tax in one way or another. Some are paying more tax, some are paying less tax. Then for instance, the supply of water, the government has to incur costs in pumping water, carrying it over long distances, laying down pipes for distribution, treating the water for impurities, and finally collecting and treating waste water. So, the pro if you say about supplying water to the people, supply of drinking water, so a lot of works are there. You have to pump the water from the river, then we have to store up in your tank, then they have to uh, clean it up nicely, put a lot of uh, chemicals in order to purify the water, then they have to send it through the pipe, big pipe they have to lay, and through the pipe they have to send it to different towns and store up in the tank there, and from there they will do the purification again, again send it to different different houses, different different villages, areas and so on. So a lot of expenses are there for the government to do these public facilities and this price and it meets these expenses partially from the various taxes that it collects and partially by charging a price for water and this price is set so that most people can afford a certain minimum amount of water for their daily use so government collects tax from the people and meets all these expenses and that may not be enough because the people are there in charge, water authority, people who are in charge of water supply and so on. So, government has to pay salary for them. Therefore, government is collecting money from the people again after supplying water. Every month, this much amount, we have, how much water you are using, this much per month. Maybe here in zero, 150 rupees per month, is it not? So, if you are getting one connection, you have to pay 150 rupees. So, from every house that uh, money is collected and that money is used for meeting other expenses of this water supply department, paying salary to them, repairing the pipes, all that is done with these expenses. So, that is how the government is functioning. Then, you can see a chart there, a diagram there, that is showing about central government spends money on so how government is spending money on that what are they the red one indicates the interest then another color ash color shows defense then subsidies economic services social services Grant or assistance for staff and UTs and states share in central taxes and police and others and so on. So these are the expenses, the common expenses of a government. So um, then others means and below it is given explanation. Includes agriculture, industry, power, transport, science and technology. So, economic services, it is mean, one star is given there, and explanation. Economic expenses means, government has to spend money for agriculture, to help the farmers to improve their agriculture, then to industry, to help the factories and companies to improve their production, then power, electricity department, government has to pay, then transport service, then other science and technology so all these are included in the economic sciences economic services then second star is a social services the social service means what are they it includes education health rural development etc so the all that is included in the social service expenses then <coughs> three stars are there <coughs> they include 
states also use these funds for some social and economic services so sometimes state also gets some help from the central government in order to improve their financial situation in order to carry out public services and so on then others others means includes expenditure on environment and forest to support and look after the environment to keep it clean and to keep the forest then earth sciences earth science means geography and so on then external affairs external affairs to have discussion with the foreign countries visiting foreign countries having meetings there and so on and also planning commission so they also have to appoint commission to do the planning what are the works to be done what the next year what we will do following year what we will do all that planning is there officers are appointed to do all this planning therefore they need to be paid salary for that so to meet that expenses the government is giving that opportunity as well then you can see again that side something is given there as amu and uma ride around chennai so before we saw two people two children were riding now let's see two other children are riding or traveling in chennai so just listen to their conversation did you notice that the roads in saitapet were so humpy and without street lights i wonder what the place is like at night so amu is telling the place where we are traveling saitapet the roads are so bumpy that means all places lot of potholes are there and there are no street lights so how will the people travel on foot at night those who are walking they will be falling into the ditches without light kumar says what better can you expect in a slum so it is a slum area government does not care for that because only poor people are living there so we cannot expect much more than that then amu says why should slums be like that shouldn't they have public facilities so amu says why should some slum people suffer like that live in that difficult situation they also should have equal access to public facilities kumar i think public facilities are for those who live in the proper houses in colonies they are the people who pay taxes so kumar is telling people who are living in big houses in colonies in towns they are paying tax therefore they should be the one to get public facilities that is understanding of kumar then amu says why do you say that slum dwellers are also citizens and they have rights to so amu says slum dwellers are also citizens of india and they also have got right to do so we cannot just make them suffer then kumar are the government will go bankrupt this way so kumar says if you try to help the government is trying to help the poor people who don't pay much tax then government will become very poor bankrupt without any money amu well it has to find a way can you imagine what it would be like to live in a slum without proper roads water electricity so amu is more reasonable she is thinking can you imagine how people are living in the slum no road no water no electricity what a miserable life they will be having kumar she he is accepting her then amu says our constitution recognizes many of the public facilities as being part of the right to life and the government must see that these rights are protected so that everyone can live a decent life so whose point of view do you agree with so amu is supporting the poor people everyone has got the right to enjoy life de- live a decent life they should have all the basic facilities but kumar is supporting the government we cannot support the these poor people who are dwelling in the slums they are not paying tax government cannot afford so both are having different views so whom do you support amu or kumar certainly you have to support whom you have to support amu because she is more reasonable and she speaks about the responsibility of the government in protecting in the people and so on 
So, what are public facilities? Why should the government be responsible in providing these facilities? So, we already learned what are the public facilities like that is of water, then uh, transport, power supply, electricity, all these are public facilities. Then public toilets, all these are public facilities. The government can get private companies to deliver some of these public facilities. For instance, contracts for building roads are given to private contractors. Distribution of electricity in Delhi is done by two private companies. However, the government must keep a close watch on these and ensure that they fulfill the commitment to reach these facilities to all people and at affordable prices. So, we said in the beginning that most of these public facilities are provided by the government. They are not entrusting it to the private people. What is the reason? Private people will be trying to get more profit and the poor people will be suffering. However, some places government does not have the, the uh, time or ability. Therefore, they entrust it to the private company. For example, constructing road. It is a duty of the government to provide transportation for repairing the road and so on. But government will call many people and give a contract to one who is able to do well. So, one who is able to do well with a cheaper rate, government will give to them. Then also electricity, it is a responsibility of the government. But some places government is interesting the private companies. For example, Delhi. Delhi, the distribution of electricity is given to two private companies in Delhi. So, they can um, distribute electricity to the poor, to the, all the people in Delhi. But government will be controlling, government will be checking them. Are they uh, treating badly or unequally people? Or are they charging too much money from the people? All that they will be checking. So, it is under the control, under the watchful eye of the government that these private companies are providing public facilities. Then, why do you think the government must assume the overall responsibility for public facilities even when it gets private companies to do part of the job? So, sometimes I said government is calling private companies to provide these facilities. But we have to make sure that government has to take up the overall responsibility. So, government is appointing the private company to provide this service. And if that private company is not doing well, whose responsibility it is? It is the responsibility of the government. So, government has to keep on watching. I entrusted this private company to do this work. So, are they doing well? Are they performing well? Are the people happy, satisfied? So, it is duty of the government to keep on checking. So, look at your water bill and find out what the minimum rate is for municipal water in your area. Does the rate increase as the use of water increases? Why do you think the government changes charges a higher rate for greater use of water? So I suppose you are all getting water supply in your village, in your houses and you may be paying the money every month. So just look at that bill. How much are you paying or how much are your parents paying every month? Is the payment same every month? Or see the meter reading it may be written there. What is the consumption of water? The amount of water that you have used. Is it the same as last month and this month? Is it the same? Or if, if it is more used, are the bill increasing or the money is increasing? Just find out all that things. So if we are using more water, then government is supposed to charge you more water, more money. So why? Because government has more expense in providing more water, therefore government needs more money to meet that expense. That's why government is charging more when we are using more. If you use more electricity, you will have to pay more money. So government is collecting more money in order to meet the expenses. Then find out the various kinds of taxes people pay to the government by talking to a salaried person. A person running his or her own factory or business and a shopkeeper. Share your findings in the classroom with your teacher. So, find out 
the various kinds of taxes people pay to the government by talking to a salaried person. So, if your parents are getting government salary, or if somebody else, your lady or your neighbor, somebody is paying, uh, getting time, getting salary from the government, just speak to them, ask them, are you paying tax to the government, or how much tax are you paying, and so. Since here it is a scheduled tribe area, people are exempted from income tax and so otherwise people who get certain amount of uh, money income that is 5 lakh in a year if they are getting 5 lakh rupees in a year then they are supposed to pay tax to the government but uh, scheduled tribes and scheduled class they are exempted people, government has and given extra uh, privilege for them that they don't need to pay income tax so that is how the government is providing services and so on so you can see here uh, there is a bus and so many people are lining up to enter into the bus and so on. So, so government may have to provide more service because that bus is already crowded and they need more people. And see the diagram again. Break up of the tax revenue of the central government. So how do government get taxes or income from different sources? So one is personal income tax. So as I said, people who get more than 5 lakh rupees in a year that pay certain percentage to the government. Then corporation tax, that is from the companies, people who are uh, having some companies producing things, they have to pay certain tax to the government. Then customs, union excess, excise duties and service tax. So there are also tax on customs, people who are bringing things from outside, foreign countries, they have to pay customs tax and they have to pay Union excise duties, people who are making the wine, people who are carrying drinks, liquor and liquor and so on, they have to pay tax, that is called excise duty. And also service tax, people who are receiving some service from the government or from others, they have to pay some tax to the government. Then others, so this is, these are the way government is getting income for performing their services, public facilities to provide. Then, buses are the most important forms of public transport. So, we can underline that. What is the most important forms of public transport? What is that? Buses. And it is the main link to the workplace for majority of the working people. With rapid urbanization, the public bus system even in the major cities has not been able to keep up with the demand. So you see the bus is crowded because so many people are going to the city for doing their work. So most of them are depending on bus in order to do this, uh, in order to manage their transportation. Therefore buses are very important. And as an alternative, the government has planned ambitious metro rail projects for Delhi and other metropolitan cities. Rupees 11,000 crore was spent from government budget for the construction of the first segment of the metro rail in Delhi using the latest technology. So since government saw this bus is so much crowded, so government tried to introduce a metro service that is railway service for short distance especially in the cities. So people who are in Delhi, they can use this train and straight go to their office. So government has spent 11,000 crore rupees in order to start the first part of this metro. So it is already completed and in Delhi, people are using that metro. And also in different uh, towns, cities, this metro rail is started so that the rush in the bus may be reduced. So people have pointed out that this massive expenditure could have been avoided if only a fraction of this amount was spent on upgrading the public bus system. Would you agree? What do you think would be the solution for other, other regions of India? So 11,000 crore government is spending for making metro railway station and the people are telling metro railway can see. Uh, that is a train, metro train, 
it looks very nice, grand and so on. So people are telling, instead of spending so much money for making red, uh, railway, metro railway, they should have improved the bus service system, road transport system, introduce more buses, especially in the morning and evening when the people are traveling up and down before job and after job. So then government would have saved a lot of money. That is what the people are telling. So what do you think? Making a new railway was better or making the best service better? Which one was more profitable? So the government was criticized by the people for spending so much money for metro instead of repairing the for making the road transport better and when, when for making metro and that was criticized very much so we shall stop here and we will meet again in the next day so till then bye